again i think because of the loading you know this is also due to internet connection to be very frank with all of you i am using two um uh internet service provider one is cellcom the other one is hotlink and unfortunately both are at two bars the most you know at most two bars during the day and at night and apparently that is like the 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 the, the strongest connection i could get out of all the telco companies because you know you mobile is out dg is out okay because uh, on a normal day yes because everyone is staying in you know oh, so what else they can do other than watching television they just use their internet so the congestion uh, sorry the congestion yeah the traffic spike up during this uh, pkp or this mco yeah so that is the reason why but i'll try to figure things out because uh, i think um google meet is okay um we can actually have a google meet uh, presentation or something like this and then perhaps i can record and upload it on youtube so we'll see how it goes actually there's a connection between google meet and live streaming but i need to to understand the configuration first yeah but for now for today today is nothing because uh, i've already asked you to um oh thank you so much for those who actually type yeah okay true true sir Right, I just realized that there's a chat message. I asked you guys to respond here. The past two, lupa pula nak tengok. Okay, okay. So have you read the the so-called uh, slide that I've shared with you, or have you gone through the video lecture? Okay. So do you understand? Paham tak? Kinda. Amirul Faizi said kinda. Yes, sir. Kinda. A lot of your kinda okay it's i think um it's very straightforward okay uh let me just explain to you um in a uh, actually we still have an hour to go but i'm not going to have a, our a, a straight one hour class we are not having an actual online class this is just me uh consulting you online you listen to me because this is live can so you listen to me so uh i will explain a bit uh, uh or re-explained about the topic and if you have question then shoot but if let's say typing is very tedious and tiring you can always uh uh, apani, uh correspond to me verbally boleh tapi not everyone at once lah okay takut nanti kan semua cakap we don't know who is talking what all right okay let me just explain first yeah i think for week four the uh okay before that let me just explain about your assessment dulu I'm not sure whether you have understood clearly about your assessment. Now, since we are going to continue this semester online, uh, the assessment too, there's a, I think there will be changes. I think uh, most of the changes occur or it, 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 it affect your test and your final exam because those are your written and standardized tests. The other two, which is your presentation as well as your um, a a written assignment is okay. It's on as usual. It's just that the the means of sending those uh, assignment or submitting the assignment will be a bit different. Lah. It won't be in class or one to one. So, um, but there'll be like specific video or lecture video or a tutorial video, uh, letting you know on how to go about your assessments. Yeah, don't worry. So for each assessment too, I'll come up with a video explaining about it. But I just want you to understand because I have explained about the assessments in the beginning. Remember, during our, our first class dulu. But it's just that sometimes, you know, because of this PKP, you've been at home for like a month, you know, like in the case of ours. Basically, today is one month of PKP, four weeks, again. So tomorrow is the beginning of another two weeks. So I ch we, we stay indoor more, you know, more than a month uh, because of this PKP. So, yeah, I do understand, you know, sometimes things that I have mentioned before, um, you may have forgotten so it's okay so first we have a test which is scheduled in week eight betul tak so the test according to the resource person um uh, week eight is still on but the test will be like open book test and there will be like one general question a generic question and 
that requires you to do a thorough research. That means you have to do a lot of reading. You have to find more information online from books, you know. So in order to assist the test uh, from now until week eight, if let's say I manage to find any reading, online reading materials, which I find very much relevant to the topic or to the course um, in general, I'll share with you guys. But in the meantime, if let's say you let's say lah you browse and you found something, oh this is interesting, a book, contohnya a PDF book, a uh, very uh, it talks about critical thinking. There are a few chapters covered in our course. Apa semua, feel free to share with the rest of your friends in our WhatsApp group. Janganlah keep it to yourself, okay? So we share together because you know uh, under this circumstance, sometimes uh, your friends. The only access that he can get is via WhatsApp, contohnya. So imagine that asking uh, if he or she has to go and find more information, kan susah kan? So we'll just share, all right? Okay, but if I have found any, then I'll share with you. Don't worry. So your test nanti will be an open book test. So it's more like writing an essay sebenarnya. But then again, um, we'll give you not exactly like a week for you to complete the test. Yesterday, I asked the resource person, she has not decided yet but she has given me you know the the idea it will be like about a day or two maybe you know that that means there's a, a duration of time for you to complete the open book test and then you we have that so-called um apa ni, your project where you need to interview people i'll explain about that later don't worry uh, but not later as in today yeah that means uh, there will be like video explaining about it lah. um uh where was i just now okay so um uh, you need to interview people and then you need to to do do some sort of like analysis of that so-called interviews and then you need to present so since that is uh individual presentation so the presentation i think the best is for us to do just whatsapp video call okay one thing you need to understand uh those who live in an area whereby your internet connectivity is uh, average or below than average, by using mobile apps, it helps. Instead of using apps or softwares available in the laptop or in your desktop or online via browsers, like internet browsers. Because those website punya ni, macam even this Google Meet, it requires stronger connection. But if we were to use mobile apps, it requires only average connection. So instead of having like this, uh, I know Google Meet is also available on WhatsApp. Uh, sorry, on mobile apps. But then again, since, you know, uh, WhatsApp has that so-called video call. And since this is going to be um, apa ni, um, uh, an individual presentation. So we'll see how it goes. All right. We'll see how it goes. Because um, as compared to Google Meet um, um, mobile apps, uh, although I said that, um, you know, it requires only average internet connection, but I believe that because of other features, like where you can share your slides, you know, you can share your materials while having, uh, while presenting, uh, in a way, it requires, uh, I think, more internet connection as compared to just a normal video call on WhatsApp. And we don't, I mean, I've not yet mentioned about server and whatnot. Lah. So we'll see how it goes because um, to me, as long as you have submitted uh, beforehand your slides and also other necessary things, uh, then you just uh, present to me verbally, that should be enough. Okay. But we'll see how it goes. Yeah. I've not decided yet. So we were not asked to use any specific software or any specific uh, apa ni, um, mobile apps ke apa tak ada. It is uh, 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 based on the discretion of the uh, class lecturer. Yeah. Okay. And then we have um, your written assignment. So written assignment should not should be something easy. We give you like a topic that you need to write an, uh, a, 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 an essay about it. It is a pair work if I'm not mistaken. All right. And then you just need to submit to me lah. But your final exam, because I realized that when, when we had that conversation with the class, uh, the resource person, she did not mention about the final exam. So yesterday was I, when I was doing the video too, I just realized that, eh, dia tak cakap lah pasal final exam. So 
for final exam, I really asked her. She said that it's going to be an open book test, but she has not given me the idea on how to go about it. So I, all I can see that is going to be an open book test. How many questions pun, I don't know, but surely it's not going to be the same format as the semesters before. Okay, so it's going to be a new format because it's going to be an open book test. All right, so perhaps it's going to be very much similar to your test. Even your test now, Nippon, very uh, is very different from the one that we used to have uh, semesters before. Okay, uh, so just bear in mind, lah. All right, and because of these changes, I do understand that some students are very scared you know they said that oh my god because of the changes because imagine that when you have uh i mean if we were to look at the format of the previous test you know you have uh multiple questions uh you have also subjectives or fill in the blanks la maybe short answers la you know that gives you more room maybe your strength is on mcq or maybe short answers or maybe a, a par paragraphing answers you know so maybe you have that worry so you said that Alamak, kalau let's say it's going to be, um, you know, if it is going to be just one general question and we have to write, ni macam mana, kan? what if I'm not good at that? So instead of targeting an A for this course, you know, mungkin harapan tu tak tercapai. Kan? Okay, on your part, you just need to do your very best. That's all I can see. Don't worry on my part. Don't because uh, as a lecturer, there are a lot of things that we have to consider, other than just what you have presented or what you have given to us. Okay, I have to consider a lot of things. So you don't worry too much on that part. You just uh, try your very hard to do the very best and prove to me that you deserve an E. And I'm not the kind of lecturer that you know. Oh, in my class, only half of you get and uh, half of you lulus. The other half fail. And yang lulus ni only two or four, three of you get E. No, I don't have quota. Okay, to me, if you deserve an E, you'll get an E. No matter how we change the assessments, if you deserve an E, you still can get an E. Don't worry. Yeah, don't worry on that because I think uh, there are issues. You know, students from other faculties dropping out or maybe uh, discontinue the semester or put on hold the semester because they have that fear you know they are not going there. they don't mind not graduating on time but they just don't want to affect their cgpa so don't have that in mind i mean i think um, almost all lecturers are ha having the same thing here there will be changes in terms of assessments so just bear with us we i mean our lectures also we have been reminded to be as sensitive as possible towards the students the students needs the students condition the students circumstances so uh okay all right so i have explained now let us talk about the topic uh tolman and rogerian okay okay first thing first just imagine that you have an argument argument can be anything can it has to be um the argument has to be argumentative. Lah. That's why we have the word argumentative. Argumentative means that there are two sides of it. You know, there are two sides of it. So when there's an argument, how are you going to analyze an argument? If let's say I give you a problem, how to solve the problem? So we are going to look at models of arguments. Actually, banyak lah models too. But the ones suggested or or asked by the resource person for us to focus on only these two but kalau if you go to the you know if you go to to the uh, website yang kan dekat bawah tu i shared with you the website no uh, the link if you go to the website you realize that other than um apa ni uh, rogerian ataupun um tolman ni ada lagi uh, any uh, uh, some other types of uh, model of arguments but we're not going to focus on others we just going we're just going to use this too okay once you have read and you have listened to my so-called lecture too i think by now you should you should have this in mind um you can see that uh tolman is very structured you know very structured um you have the six elements you have to follow one by one you have to do the so-called analysis whereas rogerian is very subjective you know in fact the steps that i suggested 
are not the necessary steps that you need to have when you do that so-called analysis. Those are just suggested saja, you know, and they are steps. They're not elements to be included in that. They are all, they are all, they are just steps saja. You can skip the steps. You can add more steps on your own. It's okay. But for Talman, on the other hand, you realize that there are six elements and you need to have all six, all of these six elements in doing that analysis. So if let's say, you have or you are presented with a uh, a problem or an argument how to do an analysis i've given you that for your follow-up activity again so you have that the first situation and the second situation and you know if you notice i like to come i like to come up with um, situations or arguments or issues that are very recent and in relation to you i think some of you are staying in the hostel or rented houses some of you are already back at home. So we have that issue, you know. PKP has been continued for the third punya phase. And then that means another two weeks, some of you will be still will be staying in. And now they have decided, yeah, that all students are staying, uh, you need to stay put wherever you are. So uh, some are complaining, some say that oh, we are lonely, line lah, kan? Those are the issues, yeah. And you know, um, it's like uh, it's like uh, students at home, or sorry, students in the in the hostel or in the colleges, uh, plus uh, rented houses against uh, Malaysians or the people or the public, you know. Ada yang cakap you guys ni apa lah itu macam macam lah. So those are the two screenshots that I took from the from from Twitter. So you have that issue. First, you have to ask yourself, if you think that that issue has an absolute solution, absolute solution, what does it mean? That means you know for sure there's a solution for this. There's no two way about it, yeah? So you may want to use Talman instead because Talman is very structured. It's like you have predetermined what your claim is. Can you see? And all you need to do is just to support your claim. So Talman is more like very, if you say that, if you if you have that understanding, Talman is like very individualistic. It's like me and me alone, you know, you know, this is my claim. Yes, uh, short sendiri pun boleh kalau you nak cakap, yeah. This is my claim. Yes, uh, these are the things to support my claim. Uh, yes, that means if you have that understanding, uh, understanding, you're on the right path, or you're on the right track. Rogerian is more like, you know, um, it's like macam, hey, jangan gado-gado, you know, you have your strength, I have my strength, you have your weaknesses. So let us find the common grounds, you know, uh, something that we can find uh, that benefits the both of us. Instead of fighting over it, you know, uh, that is Rogerian. And if you find that that issue, if you look at it, it's, a, it's more like a dead end, macam, you know, um, there's, it's not that there's no solution. It's more like a, it's not a dead end. It's more like everyone stands a chance on winning that issue. So you may want to opt to using Rogerian instead. Because Rogerian is like finding the middle ground, you know. Tapi Talman tak. All right. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes. I don't know what, uh, Farah, kenapa yes? Okay, I um, there's I can present, but I don't I don't want to present. Uh, I can share with you the 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 uh apa ni slide too, but I think tak ya lah kok end because uh, basically this mess uh, sorry this week we're just looking at Talman and Rogerian saja, and your understanding is on how to analyze an argument using this too. So the sini the first thing is the ability for you to choose which model to be used in order to analyze uh, so you must understand that yeah not because semua argument you can use both not necessarily other arguments like i said to you if you find that that argument there's like everyone stand a chance of winning because they have their own strengths and whatnot so you you may want to to use rogerian because rogerian allows you to find the middle ground that means uh what what can what can you agree upon that that benefits all so that is a win-win situation all right tapi talman on the other hand if you can see if you can see that there's no uh, if a dead end yes if it is a dead end then you can use talman you know why if it is dead end you know for sure that your yours is perhaps your claim is the best contoh lah contoh we cannot use the word the best, but you know you stand a chance of winning that argument or issue by 
analyzing uh, or proposing your claim. Okay, but of course your claim has to be supported lah, based on the six elements mentioned in in Talman punya model of argument. And of course, if you need to understand better, you can always go to the website. But just so that you know, Talman and Rogerian models, uh, these two topics are not included in that PDF uh, uh, textbook that I've given to you earlier. Tak ada. So that means you need to outsource lah, find more information. And... Um, the website that I have included on my slide too is already good enough to explain. But of course, you can explore other websites or you can just go to YouTube, have a look at it. All right. So, two je lah. Basically, two je. For this week, only this. All right. For you to understand Talman and Rogerian. That's all. Any question? Ta? I think of 50 minutes. Yeah. We should do more online classes, you know, save up time. Instead of meeting two hours, we only need for 50 minutes. Yeah. Betul tak? Question at the top. Do you have any question? Because what do Is it clear? Sir, I have a question. Yes. Siapa tu? Azam. Azam, Azam. Yes, Azam. Is it, is it yes, possible? Azam. Is it possible to do the um, the individual presentation in Google Meet with our friends watching? Because I, oh, okay. think, I think I need audience. <laughs> that's... You need audience, huh? Wow, that's good. When the rest of the people, eh, the rest of the students prefer to have one to one, you prefer audience, yeah? Okay, that's good. That's good. If everyone agrees, yeah, why not? Kalau yeah. semua nak, semua okay. But it's uh, just that my 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 worries is that's why um maybe we can uh later when we are approaching the so-called uh presentation too we can have like a short survey asking if everyone is okay with us uh using uh google meet i'm okay so far if you are okay you can watch me clearly right to now ni that means google meet is okay google meet uh agrees with me but YouTube live YouTube tak agree to uh, uh, tak, tak agree lah dengan dengan saya tapi Google Meet okay lah all right so if i'm okay and everyone else is okay then why not uh, i'll follow the others nah so kalau others. others okay then we just um uh, no janganlah cakap jahat lah YouTube ni tak YouTube tak jahat internet <laughs> connection jahat sikit all right okay so if everyone is okay then we just use uh, apa We'll just use this Google Meet lah. Yeah, I think it's uh, the best is for everyone to listen to your presentation. If you if you ask me personally, I would because uh, dalam class normally your friends will be watching you doing your presentation. So the ideal way of presenting is to have audience, you know. But then again, because of at this at this you know at this moment. Um, the other day we had, I had an insightful discussion with a friend of mine. I told them, I said, at the end of the day, what matters? What matters to me is your, you are able to present. Because having an, uh, a group of people as your audience or not, that's not my concern. Not even my prime concern um, at, at, at this moment. My concern is I just want to make sure that you are able to present. Okay? Ah, all right. Apa tadi eh? Jat -jat, eh? Someone said something dekat ni. Okay, uh, Farah said she wanted it to be pre-recorded. Oh, pre-recorded cannot. Ah, I think pre-recorded. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, sorry. Uh, the resource person did mention about pre-recording. But uh, some of the lectures mentioned that since we have these facilities or this, you know, um, uh, video call, lah, apa lah, we can actually have a live. So she said she'll get back to us. So, yeah, I think maybe some of the lectures from, uh, from other classes may have mentioned this because the, you know, the resource person mentioned that it can be pre-recorded. But we'll see how. If let's say the resource person still continue with that, then that can also be an option, yeah? So this presenting issue can be our example on models argument, sir. Yes, that's true. Betul. Um, you know, whether to use this ke, whether to use uh, Zoom ke, apa ke. Can I give, I, I give you that as an example, kan? Uh, so, yes, betul. All right. 
So coming back to Azamuddin punya soalan tadi, ini his question, uh, not question lah, more like a request to have this uh, presentation on Google Meet. If everyone is okay, uh, if everyone is available uh, or accessible to Google Meet without any obstruction, uh, then why not? Okay, because we can even record this and you can even share with uh, your slides. But kalau ada, let's say, few friends of yours having troubles even to get themselves connected to the internet, then we need to consider other options as well because it would be unfair. Because at this time, uh, my concern is to have you to do your assessment or to carry out your assessment. Ada audience ke, no audience ke, no, it's not an issue at all to me lah. So nanti when we are moving towards the assessment uh, week, then we'll have like a short survey, a short poll. If everyone is okay, then why not, right? Okay, other than that. Uh, sir, I have a question. Yes, uh, yes, yes. Fadlin. Uh, yeah, uh, in our test, do we have to analyze the sentence, the arguments, whether it's Rogerian or Tomin? Sorry, sorry, come again. Uh, in our test, do you have to analyze the arguments? Your test. Okay. Um, uh, I'm not really sure because the format of the test is now is going to be a bit different. So I'm not really sure whether because um, as of now, I have no idea or no clue at all. Okay. On how the test and the final exams are going to be. Because, um, you know, uh, before this, I used to refer to the previous questions or previous semester's questions, but now we cannot because the format is going to be different. But then again, all I'm saying here is um, it will be in one of the assessments. Can also be in your assignment. Whereby they give you an issue, they ask you to analyze using whether Talman or Rogerian can also because everything is prepared by the resource person and it was a clarification that i need to to let you guys know yeah none of our lg243 lecturers are doing any or or uh, creating any assessments for us uh, for you guys that there everything is prepared by dr zamna dr zamna is a resource person and she is actually teaching uh, this course for lg240 not 243 so two, but this semester LG two four two four zero is not offering this course for the students. So the only group yang buat ialah two four three saja. However, because the resource person is Dr Zamna, she said she'll be the one doing it. So that's why I I, I have no idea at all. How? But then again, you know, uh, normally like what happened last semester and the semesters before, she would share with us, you know, uh, briefly on how the assessments are going to be. So once I get get the information i'll share with you uh, okay all right did i answer your question fadlin anyone yes. else yes sir thank you all right anyone else oh by the way nanti i'll share with you let me share with you now lah uh your upper knee uh a set attendance for today yeah apparently we have to take attendance lah every day we have class Let me share with you. I'll share in the WhatsApp group, yeah? Okay. In the meantime, do you have any question to ask? And also yesterday, punya attendance pun, please sign. I, I notice some of you belum lagi fill in, eh? so please do so. Uh, apparently, every day when we have classes or whether or not we have classes, because our classes are like twice in a week, betul tak, on Monday and Tuesday. But because um, I am doing synchronous and asynchronous uh, online teaching, which means that uh, there are days that I have this live lecture or discussion. There are days, uh, so not there are days, I'm using both actually. So in that week, uh, our live uh, 
uh, our live so called uh, this live discussion or live lecture ke apa ke will just be uh, to accommodate that 2 hours tu and then the other one is uh, uh, where i put up the uh, apa ni notes uh, and materials on youtube ke and also share on padlet so you can actually read beforehand and try to understand on your own first you know this is how it's going to be all right so uh, because our classes is uh, is as such where we have like twice in a week so we need to have two attendants all right so it's the same thing you just need to fill in your name and your student id and then you click submit please do that and i that will open like throughout the week but apparently we have to give a report to timbalan nap chancellor academic and antarabangsa every day so if let's say our class is today then you just sign up for today i do understand sometimes some of you didn't even belum lagi you know you did you have not gone through all my materials yet but just fill in the attendance i'm pretty sure that you are somewhere at home and you plan to read later on it's okay all right but just fill in the attendance yeah all right anything else that you need to ask about tolman rogerian or maybe you know uh, anything perhaps you have other things to ask about this uh, mco ke maybe you're not sure ke if it is uh, something that i can answer on behalf of the university or the faculty i'll try my very best kalau tak nanti i'll try to direct to the right person sir do we have to include all the elements when we are doing our analysis based on the situation jaja tengok je eh dia punya tu Akila asks, so do we have to include all the elements when we are doing our analysis based on the situation given? If you are referring to Talman, yes, you have to include all six elements. It's like compulsory. But if you are referring to Rogerian, as I mentioned to you just now, uh, Rogerian means that, um, sorry, the one that I shared with you are all steps. They are steps, yeah? Uh, so steps me is not compulsory. They are just suggest, suggested steps. Uh, so it's okay but if you want to include the steps also okay for rogerian but for tolman yes it's compulsory mr e i'm not clear with the infographic oh okay so you're talking about this uh apa ni? uh you're talking about this uh oh, just a sec eh? are there a few of you uh left and then you join in is it because of internet connection ke? Can. So it seems that everyone is using Google Meet. Google Meet lah yang hebat sekarang ni. Okay, so uh, Amirul is not clear about the infographic. Now, the infographic is basically, uh, uh, you just need to do that analysis of the situation. If let's say you choose um, Rogerian, eh, sorry, you choose Tolman, you feel that 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 issue can be resolved or can be analyzed based on Tolman, then please go uh, follow the so-called uh, apa ni infographic the one that I share with you dalam slide tu. I, uh, slide number berapa, I cannot remember. Number nine, if I'm not mistaken. Just a simple one. I'm not here to judge how good your infographic is. Colorful ke, tak colorful ke, you have the doodles, tak ada. Just that how you analyze, how you put the information based on the six elements. But if you want to go through, uh, to use Rogerian, then I think on slide 12, if I'm, if I'm mistaken, that is also another suggested uh, infographic whereby uh, based on the steps suggested by uh, Carl's Roger lah. Tapi uh, those steps are not necessarily compulsory. That means um, not necessarily that you have to follow the steps. You can come up with your own steps if you want to. Because at the end of the day, I just want to understand if let's say you are finding the, 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 the middle ground between you and the other party, what could be the middle ground? And how does this middle ground benefit you and the other party? Uh, that is how. All right. So, yang Rogerian tu is a bit subjective, but it has to be dalam in a form of infographic. Infographic ni, you, you just use PowerPoint sahaja. And whatever that is available on PowerPoint. If you want to use Canva pun, okay. Yeah, some people want to go to certain extent, uh, impress me with good, you know, infographic, which is good. Okay, tak ada masalah. But then again, you know, because of uh, internet connection, sometimes, you know, my is the reason why I want you to do this follow-up activity is for me to to see or to catch your understanding to je, towards the, the, the topic, that's all. Okay? It's not about showmanship here. 
So that's why I said, but I still need to be in a form of uh, infographic so that it will be in a simplified version. I don't want you to write essay, ke apa ke, no more. Okay, Amirul Faizi kata, I see, thank you, Mr. E. Anyone else? You have until this uh, Sunday for you to submit, for you to submit your, apa ni? Your, uh, I think I asked you to upload on uh, PDF, eh, sorry, on Padlet, kan? So you have until this Sunday for you to submit your uh, infographic, yeah? But make sure that when you use PowerPoint, you save in uh, JPEG or PNG form because those are the format for picture or photo and then you just upload make sure that you include together your name this is an individual work yeah don't work with your friends yeah and i think because everyone uh, everyone is at uh, different places so i think it's best for us to work uh, individually all right follow-up activity is okay anything else those are staying in the uh, rented house how are you guys okay ke? The boys, I think the, I'm not sure about the girls, but boys lah, boys. Are you guys okay? Nah, dah, senyap. I'm fine. Okay, Alhamdulillah. All right. Okay. Lan is in rented house. We're good. All right. Alhamdulillah. If you, um... I think we are coping well with during this. Okay, good. All right. Alhamdulillah. I know it's it's very uh, tiring. Even my mother, who is staying with me right now, pun did a macam ha another two is imagine that yeah orang tua, okay who likes to stay at home, who likes to sleep a lot. But she herself said that to me yesterday. Said another how to cook more than just eat, scramble. Alhamdulillah. Okay. The survival of the fetus, huh? Okay, to the surviving skills, me. It's very important. All right. Maybe after this RMO, ni, uh, OMCO, um, um, most of you dah pandai dah, dah jadi uh, Mr. Chef dah, eh? We're able to explore other, uh, you know, some, uh, uh, yes, Dalgona Coffee, yeah, check up. Bagus. All right. So I think by by the end of uh, this uh, apa ni MCO ni or RMO ni most of you dah jadi chef master chef not only that you have learned how to cook or how to how to prepare difficult dishes you also have learned how to come up with your own signature dish dish ha lepas tu semua boleh buka kedai thank you for asking alhamdulillah all right god knows ah yes Okay. What about the girls? Those staying at home, okay, ta? Kedai tom yum. Okay. Kairina said kedai tom yum. Those who are staying at home, are you all okay? Okay, coping very well. I have a problem. Aina Patricia, what's your problem? So far, so good. Kai ate purple chicken that day. Good, sir. What is that? Alhamdulillah, I'm good. Oh, your house under construction. For okay, a bit messy. All right, all right. Masha Allah, very challenging. Yes, yes, betul. Internet connection is very challenging. All right. I heard meow. Yes, my cats. My cats, they are my big fans. I'm in actually in my room. They are all outside. I have four of them. So the moment they hear my voice, they'll just start meowing. Although I've given them food, I've prepared everything. It's just that they need my company outside, okay? Or maybe perhaps they want me to go out of this house, maybe. You know, my cats, sometimes I think they have begun to question why am I at home for a month? You know, they are not used with that situation, all right? It's really messy, okay? All right, yes, I do understand that. Sometimes you stay up late at night, yeah? So, 
be extra careful with your bio biological clock. Make sure that you sleep on time and accordingly, you know. My motorcycle probably thinks I'm dead. Yes. Not only your vehicle, mine as well. Yeah, But then again, you know. But you are allowed to go out, but not, you know, with others. Just you alone. And also to buy necessary things and whatnot. All right. Just the other day, I went out to uh, Setia Alam Tes uh, Tesco. And because I miss uh, Starbucks so much, I went to Starbucks uh, next to Tesco Setia Alam just to, to buy the coffee. Hindu lah. Tapi every day cannot lah. Nanti kan polis tahan pula. It's the same face. Forgetting on how to drive. Oh, please lah. Jangan macam tu, Amirul Faizi. Okay. Sampai lupa pula. Janganlah habis MCO ni, you forget your friends. You dah forget me as your lecturer. You don't know where your class is. You don't know where your ITM is. Gurau je eh. Okay, anything to us? So far, everyone is doing okay. Any other issues, like, contohnya, you you are in a situation that this allows you to have online teaching or learning. Please let me know, yeah. If you don't want to say it here with uh, to your friends or in public, uh, then you can just let me know personally. I'm all okay, all right. Because I need to number one, I just need to make sure that um, when we had that discussion with lecturers, you know, other lecturers in my faculty. So one of the things that I've shared with them is. Sometimes you, we need to consider all possibilities. You know, the possibility of students not getting in the uh, uh, internet connection or being disconnected uh, uh, from 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 the online world. So I told them, I said, you know, sometimes make sure do whatever it takes. Are they young to certain extent? Check up. I had uh, I have students who don't have a laptop. Uh, that also worries me. If you have problem with that, do let me know. If you don't want to. To, to, to post your questions here, you can just, you know, ask me personally or let me know personally. It's okay. Then we'll try to to come up with the uh, whatever um, uh, solution that is best, that fits, you know, uh, because the requirement is still there for you to complete the semester and for you to sit uh, for tests and to do your assessments. So requirement to still on, but then again, we need to be a bit flexible when it comes to on how to carry out uh, those assessments. Uh, so perhaps, you know, there will be different means of carrying out uh, based on the different needs of students. Uh, so they can jadi macam gitulah. Eh? Those yang okay, okay. Those yang ada problems, then you let me know. All right. Okay. So if there's no question, I would like to thank all of you uh because uh, uh of joining me uh for today's online discussion uh, uh also um i hope that you know uh, we'll try to as as you can see as we move along with the uh the weeks and the semester uh maybe there'll be like uh you know uh changes uh so changes is uh, the new norms, eh? uh, like mentioned by our Prime Minister, is the new normal now. So changes are going to be on the continuous. That means if, let's say, this week I, I've mentioned to you about the assessments, but we can never know that the following week there will be another different assessment pula uh, because it keeps on changing because we still need... This week is actually very new to most of us uh, for online teaching and learning. So we, we don't really know you know the outcome of this week when you online or odl odl means open and distance learning uh, so we're not really sure what is the outcome that is why uh, uh, our bahagian hal ewal academic is asking input from all lecturers because they need to see where this whole thing is going whether this is a successful punya ke ataupun tak so your input is very important to me as well so if we have problems ke you have op obstacles ke, to to you know to join in this online discussion and everything let me know all right or whatever that you have with you sometimes you know we have cases where when the students uh, go back home they actually have to help their parents to find money or food for the family yes we, we, we have cases like that so they don't have time for this Okay, because it seems that because of this PKP, the father is not working, the mother is not working, so they have to think on how to. So most of them, they spend time selling things online. 
they have the internet connection but they don't have the time for online learning because they have they have to spend the time to sell items online to get money uh, so there are issues you know so I, I i cannot know that unless you let me know but if you don't want to share with us in the whatsapp group or here you can always personally whatsapp me and let me know so that we can come up with a solution not try to give you money couple that dirt i mean uh, my concern is more on how to get your semester uh, going okay with whatever that you have with you all right okay so kalau tak ada i guess that is all for for now lah thank you so much for joining yeah and thank you so much for listening thank you so much for your questions your input and everything yeah so if there's anything we'll just continue the discussion in our whatsapp group thank you so much assalamualaikum Hello. Assalamualaikum. Dah dah leave leave tak payah nak sambung malam. Mal 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 malam mal. Malam. Tak payah. Good day. Have lunch mana? Eh siapa apa eh? Hai. Dah land dah sampai baring. Land makan apa land? Hmm, tak masak lagi, yeah, dia fikir masak apa Hai, mama masak. saya masak, okay, bye Betul lah, betul lah Eh, jangan lupa kelas pada Rosyah sekejap lagi okay. dia, dia buat, dia buat apa? Kelas dengan dia Dia dah hantar link lah Ha? Dia dah, dari semalam spam pun Oh, oh. Hai, 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 hai Tu, dia ada salam and hi dekat uh, classroom Ha, tu lah Alright Okay, bye. 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 bye.